In this video Jenny from Sellerboard will show us a tutorial of a new compare feature that allows you to compare sales, units, refunds and profits between different time periods inside Sellerboard. And if you want to try this feature by yourself you can uh, sign up for Sellerboard at any time you'll find a special offer as well in the description of this video. And if you like videos from Orange click, don't forget to click like button and subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone and welcome to Orange Click. My name is Jenny and today I'll be showing you guys and demonstrating a um, video of one of our new features which is compare in the profit dashboard. So um, once again, Sellerboard is an accurate profit analytics service with a couple of additional tools such as email follow-up campaigns, inventory management, um, reimbursement for lost and damaged goods, um, and other VA errors, as well as the PPC optimization feature, listing change alerts, um, Shopify and eBay connectors, and much, much more. So um, let's get started. So what we have here is, as you see my screen, this is the profit dashboard over here under profit. Yeah, so what, what the compare feature will do is compare will help you compare sales, units, refunds, and net profit over chosen periods of time with the same values from the previous periods directly in the profit dashboard. Here you can find compare. Basically, we just added a little button over here on which you can click in order to compare periods. So let's do this again. This is how the profit dashboard works without the compare feature enabled. So as you see, you have the tiles today, yesterday, this month forecast. And when you click on more, all the numbers um, appear over here with additional details. And you can always click on refunds and you'll see the refund reasons, as well as additional comments from the customers, the reasons why they refunded. And if you click compare over here, you'll be able to compare periods of time. This is actually extremely cool because when you click on more, you'll still be able to see additional information just as in the normal dashboard. But what you see here is you see the comparison times. So look, with additional percentage mentions. So you have today, the 9th of the 10th of September, I'm sorry, compared to the 9th, which was yesterday, September. So basically you're comparing today to yesterday. Today you did 692 in sales. Yesterday you did 599. So you grew today from yesterday, 15.6% as well as in units. You sold 73 units today, yesterday did 66. You grew 10.6. Refunds. You had two refunds today. Yes, yesterday you had three. So actually you're doing much better. You have minus 33% less in refunds. And if you click on refunds over here, you'll be able to see the refund reasons. And even if you click over here, you'll be able to see the refund reason as well. This way you can even compare the reasons um, to why the customers um, initiated the return or return the item. And the net profit. So you did 188, 145 today compared to um, yesterday, which is my, you were yesterday, you were in minus 754. So you actually grew 125%. The reason you're in minus here because the gross profit minus all other expenses, probably because you could have lended some money from your friend or from the bank or from anyone else to invest in your business. So you were up to my, so you're in minus yesterday, but today you grew out of the minus. So this is just like a simple example. Okay, so you have yesterday compared to, um, the day prior. So we have today compared to yesterday, yesterday compared to the day prior, this month compared to last month. So basically we're comparing the first nine days of this month in comparison to the first eight, nine days, 10 days to last month. So we are comparing the first 10 days of this month compared to the first 10 days of last month. And you have it the same as well. This month you did 4,821 in sales. Last month you did 5,102. Basically, you're lower five and a half percent. And this month you sold, well, the first 10 days of the month, you sold less units than you did last month. So you have like here 524, 566. You had more refunds this month than you had last month. And the net profit is um, lower as well. So last month you were in plus $373 by this time. And if we go here, we'll be able to see the forecast. 
So we have from the 1st to the 30th of September, this is the forecast that we're receiving at the moment compared from the 1st to the 31st of August. So basically last month in comparison, how likely are you going to be doing this month till the very last day? So last month you did around $5,445 in sales. And if you continue selling the way you did up to now the first 10 days of the month, you are likely to end up with 14 $1,902.50. The same goes forecast goes to units, refunds, and net profit. So basically, we are counting your sales velocity, um, the units you sold, the refunds that you've had, you've not, your net profit, according to which we create a forecast and as well as a comparison of last month in comparison to what how likely, how likely well are you going to be doing this month. So if you tend to sell low, just like you did the first 10 days of the month, you're not going to be doing better than last month. As well as we have the comparison of last month to July. So how well you did in August compared to how well you did in July. So as an example here, in August, you did better with 0.7% than in July and so on. So what it does, to cut it out short, the compare feature will allow you to compare between a different periods of time. Uh, it will help you compare your sales, units, refunds, net profit, and so on. You can actually choose the period that you'd like to compare over here if you click on the numbers. So always click on the second number over here that's underlined. This way you can choose the periods that you'd like to compare. One of the main points over here is that the forecast so that you don't end up disappointed by the end of the month and the way you're doing now helps forecast how well you're going to have by the end of the month. So this is when you click on compare, if you, if you take it out, you won't be seeing the comparisons. And if you click on compare, you'll be seeing the comparison of different periods of time. So this is something new we created for the comfortability of all our users and to help them simpler compare periods. Um, this is it for now. This was Jenny and I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and if you would like to try and see how Sellerboard works for yourself, you can find the link below to sign up for Sellerboard. You will get a special offer as well. And uh, now I would like to invite you to watch other video with Sellerboard where you can learn more about uh, what they do and what uh, how it can help your Amazon business.